All right, so we're on the con floor today, and I'm talking with Simon from Privateer Press, who you may remember from, I don't remember episode numbers, <laughs> the episode about uh, War Machine Tactics, which we're very excited about coming out. Yep. So thanks for joining us on our Anytime. Video. So I have a question for everybody that I'm asking sure. today. How would you define a gamer? A gamer is a person who plays any variety of games, be it board games, video games, card games. I tend to think tabletop a little more just because what I do professionally, right, but right, uh, right. I'd say any, anybody who plays a game is a gamer. Anyway, any kind of game. So it doesn't matter like how much time they game or how into a specific game they are or anything like that. Just anybody who plays a game is a gamer. I think if you play a game, you're a gamer. All right. End of story. Would you include even like card games like uh, Bridge or something like that? Would you you know, I think if you like throw that? a broad enough net, probably. Okay. Um, like I said, I, I work in the tabletop hobby right. gaming industry, so I tend to think of little, little soldiers little bit, and elves. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and little miniatures that aren't so miniatures, yeah. okay? That are very large. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think, you know, if you if you play games and you, you enjoy gaming, you know, it, it's you're still a gamer you're no matter what gamer. kind of games you play. Awesome. And I think any divisions are kind of artificial, honestly. Yeah, I love inclusive definitions like that that bring everybody in. I think those are fantastic. I think there's a lot of common ground. People just have to find it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And just accept that everybody's doing the same kind of thing, just with different motivations. Yeah, exactly. Right. So this is a demo of High Command. High Command. This is our new deck builder set in the Iron Kingdoms. Okay. Um, we just released this at Gen Con. High Command War Machine just hit stores. High Command Hordes is going to be out in October. Nice. Um, so the cards are based on the same factions that are in yeah. the game. Yeah. So right? it's, a, it's a deck builder, so you buy the set. That's all you need. We're going to have expansions coming out and stuff, too. But uh, we really tried to make it so that, you know, um, even if you don't play the miniatures war games, you can get kind of a unique Iron Kingdoms experience when you're playing this game. Okay. Um, so, you know, we tried to make these factions play like their tabletop factions. And I, I think we did a pretty good job of it. People seem to really like it. Yeah. Um, we're getting a great reaction. We're uh, doing really well with this game. So we're really excited about that. And it pulls in all the lore of all the games yeah, that you have. Yeah. 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 Cool. I love that. So then we got some uh, convention exclusive stuff, uh, or uh, privateer exclusive stuff, I should say. These oh, are our I know extreme who that sculpts. Is. Victoria <laughs> Haley. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, as part of our Masterworks uh, sculpts. We have our uh, our beer sculpts every year. We do a tie-in with the Ram Brewery in Indianapolis for Gen Con, and they make us a beer. We make them a miniature, and then we, we sell it out. This is the Steel Soul Keg Protector. Nice. She's the new one this year. Uh, well, so you gotta protect your beer. You I do. Can, I can respect that. Um, the Steel Silver Line Storm Guard, those guys are new. And then uh, from the Kickstarter we were talking about, those are the three of the figures that are available to backers. Okay. So those will be coming out next year. Nice. And then uh, nice. we've got our Iron Kingdoms books. Uh, that's the role-playing game we make. Uh, the new book, Kings, Nations, and Gods, is available now at the show. It'll be out in the stores in September. Nice. And uh, we're really proud about that because the core rules, we actually won four Ennies at Gen Con, including Best Game, which is oh, really fantastic. cool. Oh, fantastic. That's got one, fantastic. We took gold for Best Cover. And, so it was uh, a good Gen Con for yeah, you Yeah, it was a great, great yeah, experience. Yeah, with the Kickstarter and then with the new game yeah, and the role-playing game. Cool. And uh, yeah. what else do we have? We got uh, Level 7 Omega Protocol. Yeah. That's the second game in our Level 7 line. Uh, okay. This is kind of a dungeon crawler combat game, unlike the, the fear-driven survival game of uh, Escape. Right. And we're running demos for that at the show, too, if you want to check it out. Yeah, that'd be cool. And, of course, we're running demos for War Machine and Hordes, which uh, continue to be awesome and growing every day. So uh, that's what we're doing at PAX. Of course. Great. Excellent. Well, thank you. Sure thing. That was fantastic. <laughs>